What is type 2 diabetes? When I look up what is type 2 diabetes, I get this from the NIH.gov. Type 2 diabetes, the most common type of diabetes, is a disease that occurs when your blood glucose, also called blood sugar, is too high. Blood glucose is your main source of energy and comes mainly from the food you eat. Insulin, a hormone made by the pancreas, helps glucose get into your cells to be used for energy. Okay, so they're saying it's when your blood glucose is high and you get the glucose from the food. Okay, but that doesn't really tell me what's going on. Let's, let's change this. What causes type 2 diabetes? Maybe this will help. This is from the mayoclinic.org. Type 2 diabetes develops when the body becomes resistant to insulin or when the pancreas is unable to produce enough insulin. Exactly why this happens is unknown. Although genetics and environmental factors such as being overweight and inactive seem to be contributing factors. So it sounds like the Mayo Clinic doesn't understand type 2 diabetes yet. It's, it seems to be a huge mystery to them. That is their definition. They don't know if it's genetic. They don't know if it's overweight. They don't know if it's inactive. They notice a correlation between the weight gain and diabetes prevalence. Exactly why this happens is unknown. Although genetics and environmental factors such as being overweight and inactive seem to be contributing factors. So I guess it's either a great mystery or no one has just managed to look at it using common sense. The scientists are not explaining it in a way that my patients can really get it. Here's my explanation of type 2 diabetes. We eat food. That food is then broken down mostly into sugar. That sugar is then absorbed into our blood and then moves around our bloodstream until it is utilized by our muscles. Now that you understand the basic mechanism, the concepts of type 2 diabetes will be very simple. When you take in more food than you use with your muscles, we simply are left with a remainder or an abundance of sugar in your blood. That sugar is what's being tested by your doctor. When your, quote, blood sugar is high, what it's saying is you have a remainder of fuel that is not being utilized. This is happening on a daily basis. If you'd like to manipulate this blood sugar, there's only two dials to play with. There's the amount of food you take in, and then there's the amount of fuel or food your muscles use. That's the ins and the outs. What's left is the remainder or the high blood sugar. So if you want to bring down that blood sugar, all you have to do is either eat less or move your muscles more. If it's so simple, why are so many people failing? In my opinion, it's because when you go to the doctor, you receive a diagnosis of, quote, type 2 diabetes, and thus, you feel that there is only one variable to manipulate, and that is the milligrams or cc's of medicine that you're taking from your doctor. That becomes the approach. And it is one approach, not the optimal approach. The optimal approach is to actually understand what is going on with the blood sugar and then manipulate it using common sense. Here's the approach using common sense. If your blood sugar is high, simply Decrease the amount of food you're taking in and increase the amount of use of your muscles. Those two knobs going in opposite directions will bring you to a threshold of normal blood sugar. If you don't believe me, do the experiment yourself. Keep decreasing your food intake while increasing the use of your muscles and keep checking your blood sugar at home until you realize your blood sugar is now normal. And what will happen is a realization that all these years of taking diabetic pills you've been missing the common sense approach. As with many things in medicine, there's more than one approach that works. One approach would be to not change your food intake and not change the use of your muscles and instead increase your milligrams and eventually your cc's of insulin with your doctor and have your doctor essentially carry you through life and keep your blood sugar down for you. It's kind of a paternalistic way of living and it costs a lot of money and it has a lot of side effects and it's dangerous and it's frankly a nightmare. But it is one approach that's being used by millions of people right now. Another approach is to use common sense. If your blood sugar is high, you simply decrease your food intake and increase the use of your muscle. That common sense approach brings a wellness that goes far beyond blood sugar. It fixes the rest of your blood work and your mind and your body and your spirit. It's really 
the ultimate approach. If it were so simple, why would so many thoughtful people still have diabetes? The answer is because of cravings, because of depression, because of loneliness, because of habits, customs, and in some cases, a lack of physical education, which is tragic, particularly in kids. In summary, the concept of today's video is that you are in total control of your blood sugar. Just by using common sense, you can decrease your food intake and you can increase your activity or use of muscle and it has nothing to do with how much money you have. You don't have to eat perfectly healthy. You just have to eat less and move more. It is that simple. It seems like it's not because of all the emotions, but if you bring it down just to the basic physics and the basic math, the common sense rules and you are actually in total control. If you're already a quote, diabetic, feel free to experiment with common sense. See what happens to your own blood sugar as you take in less food overall and as you use your muscles more overall. You can keep experimenting, but be careful. Because you're on these medications that lower your blood sugar, if you start to use common sense, like eating less and moving more, your blood sugar can actually go lethally low and it can be a real danger to you. So while experimenting with common sense, you may have to be very careful not to go too low. I hope this video helps explain a very common and misconceived medical condition. Have a great day.